Hello, uh, this week I don't have a scripted video because I'm on vacation. Uh, I don't have a paying job. I have many, many types of works I do as an autonomous and I have my own businesses. But of course, we all need vacations. So I'm in Chile right now. I hope to next week talk a little bit about Chile and my impressions of this country, which is a very interesting place with a very rich history as well. Um, this week, I only wanted to talk about what I've been doing for these past five months with uh, the videos in this channel and the responses I've been getting. Uh, many of the responses have been very interesting. Uh, people have been telling me about how they've been, you know, uh, getting new ideas and every time somebody makes a comment, uh, I have been trying to respond and to, to give my response as soon as possible to everybody either on Facebook or on YouTube. And this is a, has been a very, very interesting and captivating experience for me. Uh, what I wanted to talk, to talk about today is related to this, because I think that uh, many people have uh, critiques from many sides about what's going on in their countries, like in Brazil. Uh, we have a fascist government, as you all know. Uh, this is also happening in the United States with a f another fascist government. Many things in common, also many differences. Uh, but I think this is the time not for us to shut up on our critiques, even of our, fr our friends, our allies. Uh, because this has been going on. People have been saying oh, you cannot critique uh, the university in Brazil right now because the government is willing to shut down univer public universities. Well, the thing is, we're not, fight we're not just fighting presidents. We are fighting for projects. And people think that... Uh, some people are thinking that we can... This is not the time to critique, for example, the university as it functions in Brazil today because the government is willing to shut down public universities, because um, the Minister of uh, Finance in Brazil, he's linked to corporations that uh, teach, that uh, sponsor and uh, put money in companies of their own, of uh, online education. And so th their wish would be that uh, there would be no public universities in Brazil, of course, because then they can sell all their online colleges and online diplomas. Um, so they, they, you know, they'd be better off uh, without public education in Brazil. But we should point to this while we still fight for, you know, public education for all, quality education for all, in, for all in Brazil. This is our project, so we need to still be critical of things we see in the university as it is today. For example, in Brazil, the university, university is still very elitist and still very detached uh, from social problems and from the world. It's still very... Uh, focused on careers, um, still very alienated. So all these critiques we can still make, we can still fight for the projects we want, uh, while we're st also fighting against what the fascist government is trying to do. Uh, things go together, you know, we, we, we need to make people aware that there are different projects. This is what we're fighting for, different projects, different views of the world. So we cannot, this is not the time to shut up. Uh, when we have fascism, it's not the time to shut up. It's the opposite. Or what we need to do is precisely the opposite. It's the time to speak out more.
it's the time to put out more radical projects and it's the time to educate people not not patronizing people but educating in a participatory way people about what's really happening and what the reality is in the university uh, that uh, you know the university is not a communist uh, <laughs> institution as our president uh, says all the time it's, uh, I wish it could be something like that you know that it could be radical, that it could be wishing to really uh, make uh, our society more uh, aware of what it can be and what, how public education can be for all. But it's far from that. The reality is far from that. Uh, the reality is the public education is still, still very elitist, as I said, still very detached from social problems. Um, so what they're pointing to is a fiction. They're all they're making so many lies, just to be able to make more money, make more profit. What they want is to end public education in Brazil, so they can profit more uh, with their own private education companies. So the time is to be more critical. And I wish to make a video on what it means, what critique means, what it means to critique from an engaged perspective, you know, and of course Foucault and Nietzsche and others will be useful in that sense. And so when I come away from vacation, I promise to make this uh, scripted video and well, see you next week.